GPT going to replace data analyst job? So I have this premium version of ChatGPT and I come across, they have a marketplace as you can see on my screen. If you notice one thing, this is ChatGPT 4 and 3.5. And this is where they have explored GPTs. Basically, it's a marketplace where you can find a number of chat GPTs available from GPT itself, I mean, from OpenAI and third party. What you see on my screen, the number of GPTs available, the one they are trending, uh, you have image generator, you have even Canva, uh, you can create logos, uh, consensus here you can have some gpts to write some articles for you you can cartoonize yourself so let me show you uh, what does it mean um, so i put somebody's random picture from google and use the cartoonize and it came up like this as you can see and not only that you can further drop down and you will find some more gpts available What you see here by ChatGPT is from GPT or OpenAI itself, which is DALI. Uh, it's well known for uh, creating images. If you have not used it, uh, maybe I'll, I'll cover it, how to use it. Uh, data analysts, which I will go uh, uh, deeper into that. Hard mods, creative writing coach. So this is again writing related, but it's available from GPT. Uh, the chat gpt itself coloring book hero perfect for kids uh, you can create some ideas and we'll look into the how can we create those and print it and for the kids perfect for a school teacher i believe chat gpt classic um, browser i have not tried uh, i can browse the web so maybe it's related to internet a negotiator a game uh, cosmic laundry buddy okay interesting Sono Chef, Math Mentor. Okay, that's pretty good, especially for the kids, uh, I think. Uh, Mocktail, Gen Z for memes. So yeah, definitely I want to try that Gen Z for meme for sure. And these DALI are specifically, first of all, I'm seeing it, this is all image related. So what you can do, it has a ton of uh, GPT is available just related to image and lower creation, image edit, recreate, merge, tattoo, MG prompter. And you can see ton of third party writing apps here. You want to call it or you want to call it GPTs, research analysis, and the list goes on. Even they have programming like Python or uh, professional coder. I mean, education, look at this. Tutor me, math solver, and that's why I think it got banned in university and colleges. Uh, code tutor, this is interesting. Um, we'll look into AI tutor, for example, uh, physics, math. Uh, there are a ton of it. So today, um, what I'm going to do, as I said before, we look into the data analyst. And what I did is that uh, I have this population Excel sheet from the World Bank where I where this uh, thing shows um, the country, their population as of 2022, which is 1.4 billion, I guess. And they have other countries um, and their population. So you can sort it like this, India, China, USA, Indonesia, Pakistan, Nigeria. So it has a job, right? Um, so we will see how we can use um, this uh, tool and find out further more and if we can do it. And this can be any use case. I mean, if you IT, uh, if you have to go through Excel sheet, uh, you can do that same thing. I'm using a population, world population data here. Uh, you can do the CVs. It can be any use case if you're running some financial or technical reporting. 
I mean, I myself don't like to work on Excel, but again, I uh, want to see how it's going to help me. So I have this GPT and already worked on that, but I'm going to show you how it's going to work. So we're going to come back to this. We're going to click on data analyst. And I'm going to drop that file. And um, this is the file from the World Bank, which I can show you here. This is the file. It has all the country names, if you can see it. Country code. Indicator population. It has population from 1960 until 2020. OK, so that's the file we have. And metadata, they have some metadata here for this. And here we have some indicator. What does it mean? Population, total indicator, and all that stuff. So I'm going to tell this generate me a report to show. The most populated, populated country as of 2022. And see, this file is big. So now it's going through a process and is going to analyze those columns in 2022, I believe, and then will give us. Which country is the most populated country as of 2020? Hey, okay. Contain the data for the first few rows of metadata that actually start from this 1960 to 2022. To generate the report, it will skip the metadata. It will filter the data for 2022, identify the country with highest population of the year. And now it's walking us through the process like a human would do, or I would do go and look at those. And it's also saying that as of 22, the world population was 7.95 billion. Okay, so we're still waiting for it to complete. And it's walking us through the process to ensure correct identify the population country. I will further redefine or refine the approach by excluding more general categories. So it's still analyzing this file. Okay, now I think it's uh, challenging now. Giving the constant of the current project, let's attempt one more refinement by excluding known aggregates and common grouping more rigorously. Let's see if that works out. All right, there you go. After applying more rigorous filter process, the most populated country as of 2022 is India with a population of 1.42 billion people. Can you show the population growth of India in the last 10 years? So let's see how the population has grown of India in the last 10 years from 2020, uh, 2013 to 2022. Let's see what's the growth. It has a population of 1.4 people, 1.4 billion, I mean. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. So in 2013, it was 1.29 billion. And today, oh, I mean, it is of this 2022, uh, 1.42 billion. Now, if you wanted to make it look much better, we want to put it this in a graph chart. So can you generate a suitable graph? Start for this. Now I want to create a graph chart to make it more representable. Let's see if that does it. 
I want to show me these numbers in the form of a draft. And if you can find that, that would be awesome. And then we can even be more creative. Wow. Wow, this is perfect. So even we can improve it further more. For example, population on the left, y x, this is in billions, 1.4 billion, so 1.3 to 1.4. Uh, which says nine zero, I guess. Uh, show me in a pie chart. Let's see if it works in a pie chart or no. Then we'll try one more graph, and then we can also do some uh, color coding, I guess. So now we have this ten years population in this form of this. So basically you have this Excel sheet and you can download all this or you want to do it. Here you go. Awesome. Wow. Wow. So basically it has added some percentage in 2020, 2013, 9.5, 9.6, 9.7, 9.8, 9.9. And so every year it's been increasing a little bit in a fraction. Show me in a bar graph. Now we're going to run this into a bar graph and see how does it work. So we started from here. We created this chart. And now we are going to do a bar graph. And here it is as a bar graph is showing you 1.2 billions and all the way up here. Man, this is really amazing that I have this. So imagine the power of this tool, uh, how much time it can save for me. If I were to go to this Excel book, imagine that I cannot be this much productive the one I was able to get it because it's a lot of data to digest. Not only that, let's say if I can ask it to forecast, can you forecast the population based on above data for the year of 2024? Because it has percentage and everything, then I think uh, it be able to show some progress here because uh, 2020 to 10.4. So if it's maybe 10.5, 10.6, then the population will be 1.4 billion to 1.46 billion or 5 billion. I don't know. We will find out uh, from this. One point four five. As I said, you know, with the fractions, we can also do some forecasts. So imagine you can do a different type of forecast, population, when there maybe it's a weather related. So again, here's the recap. We did the population, we ingested the data as a data analyst. It's a publicly available data. So of course, uh, uh, you have to be careful what data you want to put it. It has a chart. We created this. Personally, I like this chart. And we have a pie chart here. We have a graph chart. So again, let me know what do you think and have you start playing with this or not. And I'll see you in my next tutorial.